Hi everybody. Good morning, Birmingham and Leiden. Good evening, Jakarta, Jogja, Papua, and Melbourne. On behalf of Universitas Gajah Mada's Papua Task Force, I would like to extend my warm welcome for all of you in this special forum. I would also like to express my gratitude and highest appreciation to the speakers who are willing to join and deliver their respective topic at the seminar. Thank you very much for Pa Richard Choffel in Melbourne, David Henley in Leiden, Pa Michael Manufandu, my friend in Jakarta, and also my friends Gabriel Lele in Jogja and Ari Rohyanto in Birmingham. Dear distinguished speakers and all participants, on this special occasion, we will discuss the efforts of building peace in Papua amidst other various problems that are continuously being faced by the people and stakeholders inside and outside Papua. As mentioned previously in the seminar terms of reference, sources of conflict in Papua are multi-dimensional. Three of them are ideological history, development and modernization, and also uh, political economy. Although there is still dissatisfaction with development, modernization, and political economy, we have already seen a greater involvement, inclusion, and participation of indigenous Papuan in political and economic development. Such involvement get more and more significant over the time, showing that the state is truly present in the land of Papua. The escalation of conflict this has resulted in the loss of the peaceful face of Papua is due to the historical and ideological issues that remain unresolved until now. This is further exacerbated by the response of the security approach that is not adaptive to the, to the socio-cultural context of Papuan people. Papua needs a security approach that is based on love an approach with heart. Peace-building efforts in Papua, in our opinion, must begin by designing a community-based socio-cultural security approach as a follow-up to the development approach that has been carried out so far. Although that would be not an easy step, we firmly believe the government can do this. It only needs the president's assertiveness as well as the assertiveness of the leadership of the Indonesian army and police force to be able to build Papua with heart. The conflict and violence in Papua require a collaborative solution in which all parties have contribution and willingness to accept. Without that, conflict and violence will go on and claim yet another victims from among civilians and security forces as well as among the activists of the Free Papua Movement or other group there in Papua. Finally, as a victim of violence in Papua myself, I would like to take this opportunity to make a sincere call to put all kinds of violence in Papua to an end. Let us create peace together. A peaceful Papua, once again, a peaceful Papua 
will never be created through violence. Dear distinguished speakers and all participants of this seminar, that's all that I could say as a brief introduction to this international webinar. Have a great seminar and discussion. Peace in Papua. Peace in Indonesia. Thank you very much. Wah, 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 wah.